Hello, this is Chris Pratt from Eurogamer, and I've just finished playing through the new Final Fantasy XV demo. It sees you playing as Noct, the lead character, whilst he's a child, and trapped in a sort of dream world. Whilst in the dream world, you collect these crystals, which in turn unlock pressure plates scattered around the world, and they're basically there to show off some of XV's new mechanics. You can change the weather, the time of day, and also just do some really weird stuff. Final Fantasy got silly again, and I'm into it. Now, if you're going to play this for yourself, and you should, it's just been made available to everyone on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, then maybe you don't want to spoil some of the surprises. But if you're not going to play it, or you can't, sorry PC players, here are some of my favourite bits from the 30 to 40 minute demo. Number one, you can play as a giraffe. Well, I think that's a giraffe, anyway. This is the World of Final Fantasy, so they probably wouldn't have called it that. Uh, I don't know, whatever it is, there are a couple of pressure panels that for some reason transform Noct into an animal. You've also got a sort of winged crocodile, and, um, I don't know, is that like... It's a bit like a walrus with legs, maybe? Why can you transform into these magical creatures? I, I don't know, that's not a question that I can answer. But on the plus side, the giraffe is actually pretty decent in combat. So, you know, look at that reach. Number two, there's a bit where you're shrunk down to the size of a borrower in what appears to be Nox living room at the Citadel. This in itself is quite amusing as you clamber up piles of stacked books and fight monsters on your dinner table, but arguably the highlight of this area is that if you collect enough crystals, you can drive around in a bunch of toy cars. You've seen the trailers for Final Fantasy XV, of course you have, and so you'll know that this game, at least a big part of it, is going to involve you driving around in a vehicle with your mates, and I can fly now, by the way, have you seen that? Yeah, look at that. And this is, I guess, a sort of precursor to that. Whatever it is, it made me laugh. Number three, summons. Speaking of teasers for things that come in the main game, you actually get a very brief glimpse at a couple of summons or archons whilst playing through the demo. The first one, Titan, has a bit of a gulp at you as you follow your companion through the initial area, but you might miss the second, which is slightly off the beaten path and requires you standing on another one of those pressure plates. Here it is, it's Leviathan. Fwa, big fella, isn't he? Like it, good summon, nice. Moving on to number four, so I've mentioned those pressure plates require a certain amount of crystals to unlock. Most of those will become available just by grabbing the most obvious of those crystals as you follow your companion. But the final unlock, Meteor Rain, requires, I believe, 250 of those collectibles. Now that takes some extra work, which is probably for the best, as it's a ridiculously powerful attack that just, just kills everything around you. And the more observant Final Fantasy fans amongst you will recognise Meteor Rain, obviously, as one of Cloud's level 3 limit breaks from Final Fantasy VII, so... There you are. Number 5, Adult Noct. At the end of the demo, you get a brief chance to play as the version of Noct we expect to play as in the final game, which is to say, not a child with a toy sword and hammer. Adult Noct is a pretty cool guy, to be honest, and as such requires a pretty cool enemy to batter with his actual weapons. I found this fight a little tough to begin with. Uh, the different kind of playstyle that Final Fantasy XV is going for it takes him getting used to, up until the point at which you're not warping, um, you know, when he chucks his sword and then teleports to whatever it sticks into. Yeah, that made things considerably easier. I just sort of did that and then made sure not to look at the enemy as he disintegrated behind me. For extra style points, which was ruined slightly by the burst of colorful stars and then lights as I transformed back into a child. Whatever. And finally, number six in the list of things that I liked about the Final Fantasy XV Platinum demo, your magical cat-like companion Carbuncle send you emojis to express how it's feeling along the way. Some people are gonna say that that's not very Final Fantasy, that that goes against what this series is. Those people are wrong. This is peak Final Fantasy and a welcome antidote to the often incredibly serious 13 series. Emojis and playable giraffes, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it's all about. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't seen the trailers from the Uncovered Final Fantasy 15 event last night, you can do that here if you like. Cheers very much. Bye. Night.